the going out together? You can take what Janice says with a barrel load of salt. It's just, I've never seen her like this before. I mean, it only took Stacy a couple of seconds to get into your bed, didn't it? It's a good job it's his last day. He'll be glad to see the back of her. I think someone should have a word. Me, you mean? Listen, Janice is as daft as a donut, so what if she's got a little fantasy for him? Anyway, you better get used to it. Girls like older men, it's a fact. Mind you, I don't think that Grantley's got much to worry about. <laughs> oh, go on then. Hand it over to an experienced professional. I'll talk to her. But if you don't want to, tell him to buy a stun gun. Should keep her at arm's length. Tom, I think you're overreacting. But better to be safe. Oh, my God, Wilson, I can't believe it. It's amazing, the hotel tonight. I know. It's all sorted. Flash hotel, slap-up meal, the works. I've never had a real boyfriend before. Now I'm going to a posh hotel with you. It's the best day of my life. <laughs> Have you seen Maxine, Janice? No. Just giving Janice a bit of help with her poetry assignment. Okay. I'll um, check the computer room. You need to be a bit more concise. Think about your use of adjectives. Are we getting adjectives? Yeah, I've just remembered I need a quick word with Mr. Bingham. Thank you, Janice. See you later, sir. Next. I, um, I think it would be a good idea if you stayed away from Janice for the rest of the day. Is this connected to your role in finance? No, it's connected to me having known Janice since she was this high. What exactly is the problem? The problem is, I didn't like what I saw just now. And what was that? You and Janice. I know there's something going on. What, you're accusing me of... <laughs> what, with Janice? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Wilson, I know what I saw, so just stay away. Oh, I forgot. We're still in the dark ages. I give help to an A-level student, and the next thing I'm being accused of something pretty sordid. Let's just look on it as um, self-protection, eh? For you and Janice. Oh, well, I hope Janice appreciates your concern. You know, she's making really big improvements. Which is all down to you, of course. Well, why are we even having this conversation? I mean, what does it matter? In about two hours' time, Janice isn't going to be my pupil anymore. I don't think that Rachel Mason would take too kindly to one of her supply teachers having an inappropriate relationship with a sixth former. Steph, you have a very vivid imagination. You accused him of having a thing with Janice? There's something going on, Tom. They were just embarrassed when I went in. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's what stupid little girls like Janice do. They're just on at you non-stop. It is embarrassing. Well, it starts with, I like you, Tyson. The next minute, they're trying to climb in a flaming bed with you. I mean, I should know. I've been there, remember? I think they were kissing. Yeah, don't be daft. What, you saw them? I'm going to have a word with Janice. Anyway, you, uh, you've changed your tune, haven't you? What happened to all this educational relationship stuff? I don't know. I know what I said, but... I didn't like what I saw. It just seems wrong, and he's... he's just... oof. Right, lady, I'll take that. No, miss, I'll turn it off. We'll keep it off. I didn't like what I saw in Mr Bingham's room this morning. What do you mean? Janice, I saw you. Together. Look just a little bit too cosy for my liking. 
I mean, if I hadn't come in when I did... We've not done nothing. And that's how it's going to stay. You're with me this lunchtime. Oh, no. Janice, you have got a lot to learn. But he isn't the one to teach you. My room, lunchtime. 